Good afternoon. My name is Cheryl A. Key, president of the Fulton North Fair, the 59th year. Um, first of all, I wish to thank all our participating artists this year uh, and the new members who have came on. Congratulate our winners this year's competition. Thank our videographer, Mr. Melvin Isaacs. Our vice president, um, Gerald Jones. Larry Weeks, our treasurer, and Diane grizek Collier, our recording secretary. we also like to thank all our members who have participated and helped to redevelop the Fulton Art Fair. The Fulton Art Fair has gone to a totally new direction. We are not just once a year on the fence any longer. We've shown four to five shows during the year. WBGO hosts us for a black women's show. We encourage you to come out and participate and be a part of history. We are going to our 60th year in 2018, which we, it's a big event. It's a very big milestone for us, historical. Please be a part of it. You can check us out on our website, which is FultonArtFair.net. Thank you so much. It is my honor to serve as your president.
I came up from the South in the middle part of the 60s. Uh, as I start beginning to realize that I had artistic abilities, I started drawing about the age of eight years old. And then one time I seen a man was doing a portrait of a person and I asked him to teach me how to do that. And ever since he had taught me how to, to draw faces, I began to uh, draw out of the comic books uh, and stuff like that and sent away for things. And as I began to uh, get into the art itself, uh, when I turned 16 years old, they had the after school program and I was into abstract art at that time. And the, the teachers say that they only seen one or two mistakes in, in my work. And then after that, I started uh, going around other artists uh, because I live in the area where uh, the Pratt Institution Art School, I live in that area. So I socialized around with Pratt students in the uh, middle 60s. And then once I went to the, uh, the Army and came back from the Army, uh, I registered to go to uh, American Art School on 56th Street, right across the street from Mechanicy Hall. I studied there uh, for two years. I studied um, fine arts and commercial advertising and paste up mechanicals. I stayed there and learned the basics of, of uh, still life paintings and painting from the figure where you would only use uh, yellow oak and burnt cyano and white. After I began to understand what I was doing, after the, the two years of that school, I went around the corner to the art student's sleeve, and I studied there for another three years. Uh, at that time, I studied with um, various uh, uh, teachers uh, at the moment I studied with uh, uh, Hale. I don't know if you know uh, Hale, uh, Robert D. Lee Hale, uh, The Anatomy of the Figure. Uh, I studied with him and then I studied with uh, Fogarty. I studied with uh, Frank Mason. I studied with uh, Daniel Green. I studied with uh, David LaFell. Uh, David LaFell was the uh, um, Frank Mason uh, student at the time. So uh, this is a little bit about uh, the people that I studied with. And then I went out on my own and um, I started doing uh, portraits of uh, pastel of people. But I, you know, I got away from that because I started falling in love with scenery. And I started going out painting uh, the scenery uh, as impressionist uh, artists, I went out and uh, captured the scene of the scenery of, of the neighborhood that I lived in. And some of the paintings that you may be looking at at this moment here, you'll see some of the, uh, the details that people complimented me on, the way I do details and the way I do trees. Uh, and that's about it. So it's the love that I have for what I express myself in doing. I really appreciate 
uh, the opportunity that I could be able to do that. Okay, well said. You gave us a grosser history background about yourself, and that was very, very excellent. So, okay, now we can begin with the questions. What three words friends and family would use to describe you? Determined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say that, yes. Okay. How would you describe yourself? I really, truly love uh, where I could be able to express myself within myself, uh, my creativity. What inspires you to wake up every morning? Where I could be able to, well, I have dreams and I dream about art where I dream paintings that I may not even have done that I see myself doing. So it's something that I look forward in, in doing by expressing my artistic abilities where I could see something that I could complete and enjoy and admire the work within that I might be able, uh, doing at that time. Who would you say inspired you? Uh, I would say that uh, as when I, well, by being young at that time and I seen this man uh, drawing a face, uh, that had inspired me that I wanted to do that myself. What challenges have you struggled with to become an artist? Oh, that's a tough one because you find yourself uh, not able to really um, support yourself at times and sometimes you have to um, put your work on the side and go back and start on your work where you're not able to uh, do the things that you need to do because you need to uh, be able to uh, finance yourself for it. Uh, uh, you know, the cost of living and the things that you need to do for it uh, to sustain yourself, well, you know. So sometimes you have to go and do other things besides uh, uh, your, uh, your art. How long have you been an artist? Basically, I say all my life, all my life. Are you self-taught or did you go to school to learn art? I, I went to school. I went to school. When did you start drawing? I started drawing, I say, about the age of eight years old. How many mediums do you work in? Mostly all paint. Mostly all paint. Do you belong to any art organization? I um, belong to uh, the Fulton Street Art Fair that be on the fence uh, the 60th year anniversary of the Fulton Street Art Fair. I'm a part of the organization where uh, in the summertime we uh, exhibit other artists besides myself exhibit their work at Boys and Girls in Brooklyn have on the fence. Have you had any commissions? Oh, quite a few, quite a few. What about work in a private and public collection? Uh, I, I got to run that to me. Uh, well, have you ever worked in any private or public art collections mm -hmm. or sold your work? Oh, I saw I saw work and I worked for a uh, private and had commissions in, in doing work for uh, other uh, uh, people that uh, I had uh, did paintings for. Okay. What about an individual show? Have you, have you exhibited your own individual show? Not at this moment, but I'm looking forward. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yes. Tell us about Dorsey. How important is Dorsey Gallery to you? At the time that when I met uh, a young man, I did a series of paintings in, of uh, Tompkins uh, Park. Uh, at this moment, they call it Vaughn King uh, Cultural uh, Center. I have a, a series of paintings of, of that park uh, sceneries, and I met a young man that 
attend Darcy's gallery and he was telling me about Darcy's gallery. So I went over there and I met Arneal and the rest of the artists that uh, went there and had a workshop on Saturday and Wednesday. So I went over there and then and had a uh, exhibit over there and uh, not basically an exhibit, but I shown uh, a, a, a couple of pieces during the time that they would have a, a Christmas uh, a donation uh, for artists to uh, donate a piece of their work for the unprivileged children that they may be able to have someone to come over and, and buy their paintings so they could be able to uh, have things with, for the people that's the unneedy, uh, that was uh, uh, in hospitals and stuff like that where we'll be able to uh, sell our pieces and contribute towards um, people that was un unprivileged uh, at that moment. What do you consider to be the most important in your life of art? That I'm able to express myself. Okay. So we come into the final question is, who are you and what is your purpose in life? My purpose in life, if it's possible, that, it's, uh, the, that I may be able to uh, I have an ex exhibition art show of all my work where I could be able to uh, hopefully get the recognition that um, I could be able to express myself where people could uh, be able to um, identify within my work. And who are you? My name is Willie Lee Holly, American, Afro-American artist that's struggling to identify themselves where they could be able to enjoy the love of expressing myself in my artistic ability and being versatile in my work. Okay, I just want to expand on the purpose in life uh, as you had stated. Uh, is part of your purpose in life uh, helping other younger people to uh, understand their artistic talent to give them a a way of seeing uh, how to express themselves? Is that part of your purpose in life as well? Oh yes, because uh, I teach private and uh, I have quite a few students that I teach private where they bring uh, their work to me and I give them uh, criticism of their work and they could be able to see uh, the criticism that I'm telling them that they could be able to improve on their work and that, that's the enjoyment uh, that I enjoy doing because by me doing it for nothing, I began to receive within myself where I began to hold on to what I have. When I give it away, I get it back with enjoyment where people could be able to uh, show me uh, their work and I could be able to uh, express myself in seeing the different in, in themselves where they could see the different in their work by me telling them. All right. Well, thank you very much for allowing me to interview you. And this is just the part one of the uh, Q&A question. So we're going to continue on with this with part two where you're going to be discussing your artwork. This painting here is one face, two sides. And if you look at the, the, uh, the carving of the African descent carvings in this uh, painting, then you see some of the African uh, carvings in the painting itself where um, you could see the nose become to be the pyramid, uh, and then you could see certain um, things that within the painting, one, uh, you could see the, uh, the woman that uh, have a teardrop in her eye, that's the woman's side of the, the, the face itself, and the other side um, is the man. You know, it's funny thing about this painting here. Uh, some paintings that when I paint, I just calmly uh, come out of my head and I just feel that I, I want to paint that type of painting where 
uh, my, my, my oldest son, once he's seen this painting, he fall in love with it so much that he took it out by house before it even dry. But anyway, that's, that's one of the paintings that uh, my earlier paintings are. I think this painting has been painted maybe about uh, four or five years you ago. You see these three paintings over here on the uh, left-hand side? It, with, with the orange uh, uh, background. Well, you, if you see them paintings, if you really uh, uh, get a glance at them, it's guys that uh, are hanging out uh, in the hood, if you want to express this feeling as the neighborhood itself. And this was a time where the, I had painted these paintings where uh, people were uh, in the drug scene and if you really look at the painting itself, this young man is down there. This is the, the way I felt where this painting is, is out of my head where you find that it's a bunch of crack files all around and this guy is pointing down at him uh, and, and with, with a gun. But this is just the, the tragedy of certain things that uh, our artists themselves may express themselves in what they may uh, see within the neighborhood. And this is a part of reality. Um, I paint a lot of paintings from uh, Don, uh, King uh, Cultural Park there where uh, a slow scene where you could see this is uh, where the, uh, the winter has come up on us where you could see the winter where you see the beauty of the snow and the background and the depth of the, uh, the park itself and the beauty of nature. And, uh, and I really like to paint sometime where I, t I paint from photographs. So this is one painting that I painted from photographs and I thank you. Okay. Some of my paintings that I paint, some I work from photographs and some paintings I sit outside and paint what I see from uh, sitting outside. This is one of the paintings that I had set outside and painted a, a fall scene um, at that time where if you could really see the beauty and the, the, uh, the perspective and uh, the composition itself, I admire this painting because this painting shows uh, the tranquility and the peacefulness of nature itself and the beauty of nature. Okay. Here's another painting that I set outside and I paint the scenery of uh, uh, Vaughn King Cultural uh, Arts Center uh, building where uh, you could see the depth into the painting and how the clouds are going back in the painting where you could really see um, what you're looking at and the serenity of the painting itself. Thank you. Yeah. Now here's another different style of my painting where uh, I love to paint abstract painting. This painting here has been done with the palette knife and a paintbrush itself where you could see the autumn uh, colors in the painting itself where you could see the beauty of the autumn colors where um, I just turned myself into uh, this is my style when I paint abstract painting. Okay. Now this painting here, um, I call this painting here Serenity. Why I call it Serenity? Because it's, it's peace within where it's nothing else to see. Where this, it's no, uh, a lot of action, a lot of movement, a lot of things that's going on where this is Serenity itself. Thank you. Okay. Hello there. This painting here is the heart of Bedford Stuyvesant where uh, Fulton and Nelson Avenue where you could really see uh, the daily uh, life of people going and coming uh, on a regular uh, daily uh, day where you could see how beautiful uh, the sky and the colors and the action of the movement of the figures itself where it comes to life. Okay. So here, this is the brew. 
Now this painting here is a neighborhood gathering where you see people are uh, socializing uh, at that moment where you could really see the neighborhood within the, in, in the neighborhood where people just uh, doing their regular thing in the, in the neighborhood. Thank you. Now this painting here is um, a painting of um, my daughter and her husband and my two grandkids uh, from a photograph. If you see the, the, the painting itself in, in the photograph, you see identical uh, likeness of the characteristics and the features of them. And uh, this is one of my work as me uh, doing uh, the, the, the figure and uh, a portrait of, of uh, people where I get a lot of enjoyment where I could be able to capture the likeness and the, the characteristics of a person. Yeah. You could go t to my page where you could be able to see Willie Holly 47A Gmail come. At that moment, then you will see other paintings besides the paintings that I had displayed. And thank you very much and have a nice day.